Right. I wanted to talk today about um, a dog. I've just recorded this video and I found my phone hadn't actually recorded it. One of the issues with the phone is you can't tell if it's recording or not. So I only record about 10 seconds without sound. And then that's it. So I did this video a minute ago and lost it. So I want to talk today about a dog. His name is Lennox. He's, he's a good dog. He's a family member. He is an American Bulldog crossed with a Labrador and he acts almost as an assistance dog for a little girl who's now 14 who is disabled, um, a very chronic, nasty condition really and he's always been there for her. His owners are responsible dog owners, they've always done everything right. They had him microchipped as a young puppy. They've had him neutered, DNA registered, pet safe registered, and insured and licensed every year with his council. He's in Northern Ireland, so the laws are slightly different than they are in the rest of the UK. On Wednesday the 19th of May, 2010, this is two years ago, almost, he was taken from his family because he was a deemed a dangerous dog. He'd never shown any sign of aggression or danger. He was slightly funny with strangers, but some dogs are. But he wasn't taken because of this. He was taken on a warrant intended for another dog. So technically it was a legal warrant. Because he looked to be pit bull type. Now this pit bull type business is really silly. Pit bulls, the American pit bull terrier, is banned in the UK, except it's not. The government never accepted this breed as existing, so they've banned pit bull type dogs. Dogs which resemble, in appearance, these dogs. And now dogs can be seized because of the way they look and temperament is blown out the window. The thing with Lennox is he's been in kennels for nearly two years and the treatment of him has been Calling. He's been given these a destruction order a couple of times, but they, his family are appealing. But he now I think they just need to make a decision and stick to it. He's been in kennels for nearly two years, and it's not fair anymore. He hasn't been released because of the lies of a council member. Now she said that he was very aggressive and she couldn't get within a few metres of him because she was scared to do so. Now these three pictures have been released. I'm going to put them on now. And I want you just to look at how closely at her face and how she's appearing and how scared she really looks. She looks just terrified, doesn't he? Look how aggressive he is. Snarling beast. It's not, is he? So she lied. And this is why the judge feels he can't release Lennox to his family because he presents a risk to the public because of these lies. Now, on the 24th of May, I believe, they've got a final chance to save him. The dog trainer, Victoria Stillwell, who lives in the United States, um, in a state where pit bulls are not banned, has offered to take him. And also another dog, Bruce, who was in Belfast a couple of years ago, was moved to Galway in the Republic of Ireland, where pit bulls are billed as well. He was moved there and he lives in a rescue shelter now, um, he's living out his days there. So why this can't happen with Lennox, I don't know. Why he can't go somewhere else. It's just, and um, his treatment while in the police care has been appalling. If you look at the following pictures, these are pictures that were released to his family. The last one to show the most recent, are the most recent ones.
as you can see he's lost a lot of weight he's on unsuitable bedding as vets and dog professionals have agreed especially for a dog with a skin condition like Lennox now the thing with Lennox is is because it's taken so long to get this all sorted while he's been in kennels the same thing has been happening to hundreds of other people maybe not hundreds but a lot of other people who've had their dogs seized because of the way they look they've never done anything wrong they've always been res they're all responsible owners yet they've lost their dogs because of a stupid law but a lot of them have been either returned as not type i.e not guilty or they've been returned as guilty and of type but they are, have been added onto the register of exempt dogs. They've had to be tattooed, and if they haven't been neutered beforehand, they have had that done, and there's all sorts have to be um, filled out to make sure that they can go home. And the treatment of these dogs has also been pretty bad. One dog, Snoop, he was allowed home onto the exempt register, and he was very underweight, he'd lost a lot of weight, he had a really sore tail and he was just looking very sorry for himself. He is now getting a lot better and a case has been brought against the kennels where he was kept. Now these kennels are all secret kennels where these dogs are taken to. Owners don't know where the dogs are and as you can imagine it's a pretty hard time when this happens. But it's even worse when a dog comes home in such a state. Another dog, Alex, he was also returned on the exempt register and he is still very unwell. He's getting better, but he's still quite bad. He came back with untreated kennel cough and damaged teeth, and he's not been very well at all. He's undergoing a lot of vet procedures and investigations. Now, he... Um, yeah, he's doing... He's, he's getting better, but... They wanted to bring a case against kennels and they have written to the RSPCA who would obviously be bringing this case. But they find it very difficult because they were asked to provide the address of where the kennels ha where it happened and they can't proceed until they have these address. Which obviously being a secret kennel is, well, very hard to do. Um, there is a, a, um, a company working with them to try and help, help with this, not a company, um, not for profit business who are trying to help them now this is what the law is just stupid in this way because banning something on how it looks one it makes them attractive to the wrong people two it means that people are losing responsible people are having dogs taken away from them because of the way they look i've never done anything wrong and given a criminal record if it was literally just people owning these an actual American Pitbull Terrier, the breed, I would understand the comments saying, oh, well, if you know they're banned, why have them? My phone's falling off. Why why have them? You deserved it to happen. Well, yeah, I'd agree with that. Things it's not. Because it is a type of dog, legal crossbreeds, like an American Bulldog, cross with a Labrador, Staffy crosses, there are all sorts of crosses which could appear to be a Pitbull type dog can get seized. Even legal breeds with papers can be taken away. So a Staffordshire Bull Terrier with papers can be taken away. If they are slightly taller, slightly stockier, slightly squarer in appearance, they can be taken away and possibly destroyed as a pit bull type. This, the law is really needs to change. We need to get rid of this element of it so we can stop wasting time seizing these dogs that have done nothing wrong and concentrate on the real issue which is the humans. Humans breed these dogs or any breed dogs they can breed them. Breeding has a major impact on dog aggression really because if you breed badly you inbreed, you breed for the wrong reasons, you breed specifically for aggression or you just take don't take into account temperament when you're breeding and you only breed for profit obviously you're going to have problems with behaviour also, a problem is the owners who train their dogs to be aggressive, who train their dogs to do the thing, these things, or just fail to train or socialise the dog. So the real issue is humans. 
we need to stop focusing on dogs as being the issue because they're not it's human at the end of the day and we need to change that I'll put a link in the DVD to DDA Watch who are a not-for-profit company they can't be a charity because they have too much to do with the political side of things and they're fighting for fair and effective dog laws without breed specific legislation and you can find out a lot more from them and why it's wrong to have breed specific parts to the law and also find out a lot more of the stories of dogs who have been taken include like Lennox and there have been many some have never gone home they've just been destroyed and never got to go home some got to go home not guilty some got to go home guilty but because their temperament was good they were exempted some dogs went home and were so damaged by their experiences they had to be put to sleep it's just madness so yes that is pretty much it i hope it's recorded this time or i will cry because it's quite hard this is a subject that really really gets me so thanks for listening i hope you can see why why it's wrong and hopefully you change your mind about these dogs. Thank you.